friends, it's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm and welcome to my messy, messy space in my garage where I'm dividing my dahlias. So I started this process the other day and I wanted to share with you guys how my storage method worked this season. So I've done things a little bit differently than in years past because I had pretty much a high loss rate, a pretty high loss rate. I was losing dahlias because they were too warm in my basement and the humidity I think was a little bit too high as well. A combination of the both was not good. I had quite a bit of rot over the past couple of seasons. So I decided to do things completely differently this year. I decided to use bulb crates, which I went over in a video uh, a couple of months ago, probably four or five months ago now, because that's how long these have been in storage. So I decided to get a bulb crate, line the bulb crate with this white right here. This is a feed bag, like a, a corn, cracked corn feed bag and line the crates with that because I used pine shavings and I didn't want the pine shavings to get all over the place but they got all over the place anyway. <laughs> it wasn't a pure, it wasn't a foolproof method to contain the pine shavings. So I would put a layer of the tubers down and I did not wash them. They went straight from the ground. I shook them out and then I stored them in my garage in the crates for just a couple of days for the, the dirt and stuff to dry out. And then I just knocked the excess dirt off of them and I stored them just like that. So I would put a layer down on the crate, cover them with pine shavings, put another layer of tubers, cover them in pine shavings. I didn't even think about dividing them in the fall. Number one, I didn't have time. And number two, I didn't have time. So I just didn't have time to divide them in the fall. And I wanted to see if it was gonna be easier to divide them in the springtime. Turns out it is. I'm having an amazingly, um, fun time dividing them. It's a lot of work, but it's also extremely rewarding because I have so many more tubers than I started out with when I put these into the ground. Okay, so in the bulb crates, pine shavings in my garage, huddled in a corner, probably 12 bulb crates, maybe 15, 12 or 15, I didn't count them. I checked on them once in late December, early January, felt that they were firm, they were doing well, I didn't really look at them once until just this past weekend. So the temperatures in here generally remain between 35 and 50 degrees. This is an unheated space. We do have a pellet stove that we turn on when we come out, it's on right now. When we come out here on the weekends to hang out, we've got a TV in here, we hang out at, like I start all my seeds out here, we turn the heat on. So they're generally between 35 and 50 degrees. There are occasions where it's 70 degrees in here for a day or so. And there are occasions like this morning it was 25 degrees in here when I came out here, but it wasn't 25 degrees for a long period of time. So it, the tubers do not have the time to freeze. So I also have a salamander heater out here. So if I come out here and I'm nervous that it's gonna get too cold, I can turn that on. So if the temperatures dip below 30 degrees, that will automatically turn on just to warm it up in here enough so that my tubers don't freeze. Anyway, I didn't have any issues with freezing and I didn't have any issues with the humidity levels being too much or too little because that can really ruin your dahlia storage. And you wanna make sure that your tubers are not wet or have too much moisture when you put them into storage because that moisture in storage could really lead to rot. Okay, so let's take a look-see. Open it up. Okay, so here is one. This is an Onesta, a beautiful variety. And it's, wow, they're just so firm. And this, I, like I'm saying, all I did was put them in the shavings. I didn't even clear all the dirt off. They're super, super firm. No issues at all whatsoever. Beautiful. Uh, let's dig a little deeper here. There's, oh, holy, holy macaroni. Woo! This one is sugar plum purple. So I had a variety that was called a sugar plum mix. And this was the sugar plum purple. Look at that. Wow. Those are amazingly, like, there is no shrinkage at all. Wow. See? See what I'm saying? Okay. So this is the storage method that I'm going to go with from now on. Okay. So... I pulled them out and I started di dividing. I started with Joey Morella. Joey Morella is a variety that I grew last year and I grew 25 of them. So I pulled them, <laughs> I pulled one crate of just Joey Morella and in that crate I had 14 clumps of tubers and I started dividing and from those 14 clumps of tubers, I was able to get 100 Dahlia tubers. 
I have 100 Joey Morella Dahlia tubers and I cannot even get over it. They're all viable. I can see eyes on all of them. I'm so happy. So I'm, I'm not going to plant 100 in the field. Okay. So I have two farmers close to me, my friend Aaron and my friend Gina, and we're going to trade some. A couple of my dahlias that I told you about in my I dream of dahlias video have already been canceled on me. So peaches and Jomanda, they've been canceled on me. And my friend Gina grows Jomanda. I'm going to trade some Joey Morellas for some of her Jomanda. And my friend Erin grows peaches. So I'm gonna trade some Joey Morellas for some of her peaches tubers. And I'm so excited about that. And then I'm probably gonna take at least 10 and pot them up for sale for selling at my seedling sale. I'm gonna sell potted dahlias this year along with uh, my seedlings and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, those are very exciting things. I also divided my Cornell bronze. I'm not done dividing them, but so far I have 80. I had 25 and so far I have 80. I, I can't even get over how well they did in storage and how the tubers multiplied. It's making me really happy because I there were a couple of years where I had uh, not very much success in storing the tubers. And I think because I, where I stored them and not dividing them until now, I think were keys to my success for storage this season. There are a lot of books that you guys can read to look up how to divide your dahlias and how to store your dahlias. Uh, Florette has her Discovery Dahlias book with a, a lot of great resources in there. Uh, there's also a book called Connie's Dahlias. She is uh, a really an expert when it comes to growing dahlias and her book also has a lot of information about how to care for and store dahlias and how to divide them. And uh, so I'm so excited. I'm going to go ahead and start dividing some. These are my cafe au lait guys. I started, I think I had five or six cafe au laits last year. I bought five. I think someone gifted me one. So I had five or six and I have 40 cafe au laits in this bag. So I had five or six and now I have 40. It's unbelievable to me. And there was a little bit of, of shrinkage on some of the tubers, but for the most part, they were not at all. These are still very solid. I'm so happy with the way that they were divided. And look at the size of some of these cafe au laits and how well they did in storage. This one in particular, uh, just, it blows my mind. I never had a tuber store this solidly. It's really, I think the temperature is perfect in this garage. And you can see that I kept some of the neck and I see some eyes. Ooh. Yeah, there are, oh, there's an eye right at the end. Very visible. This is a beautiful, beautiful tuber. Tuber all the way up. There's the neck. There is the eye. That's awesome. It's a little blurry, but my camera doesn't really like macro work. Anyway, that is an amazing looking tuber. It's so solid. There's a very little give when I give it a squish. Very happy with the tuber. This entire bag is full of cafe au lait tubers. I'm gonna put it back into a crate with more pine shavings. I went to the store, I had to pick up a couple more bags of pine shavings again because, well, my chicken coop needed a fresh layer too, so multi-purpose. Okay, so this right here, taken right out of the box. Look at the mess. I already told Brad, I'm so sorry. I have to vacuum out here <laughs> in the garage. These kind of made funny round tubers. This is called Florel. Florel was an absolutely amazing, beautiful dahlia that I really enjoyed this past year. And this one is Karma Chalk, again, I, can't, I mean, I can't get over how solid these are. I've never had a dahlia store like this. I'm so happy with this method. Keeping it for next year. So this one has like a broken neck. It's not gonna produce any eye for me. In fact, it's just, it's garbage. So I don't even mess with stuff like that. When it's got a broken neck, I throw it in the garbage. I have noticed a couple of other farmers and it's their first time dividing dahlias and they're actually cutting the necks off and thinking that that's how you're supposed to divide them. That is not how you're supposed to divide them. You really do need part of the crown or the neck in order to get a viable eye. I'm just gonna cut this one right up the middle. Ugh! Sometimes people don't know where to start when they go to divide their dahlias. I always just cut straight in half. Okay. I'm gonna put Florel back. 
and work on car this is karma chalk it's amazing dahlia i actually don't know if i want i guess i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do it sometimes i really hesitate to cut the tubers that are really close together ah, but i did it okay yes i could actually probably cut this one off too i'm gonna cut this little shrivelly one off all right so i cut the little tiny pencil one off this is is it focusing Ooh. this is a beautiful duper this i'm gonna leave these two together but it wants to be separated <laughs> now it becomes two still got all my dirt all my dirt all my dirt all my dirt my days <laughs> good so after I divide these I'm grabbing one of my bags that my tulip bulbs came in one of these yellow bags so I'm repurposing all of the bags that my tulip bulbs came in and I'm grabbing the orange putting it in there it says karma chalk one two three four five I know there'll be more I have more karma chalk tubers in there so this is basically what I've been doing for the past couple of days I just divide and conquer. Basically, that's it. So let's see if I can find the other karma chop. Oh my gosh, so I have to show you guys this. I'm so excited. This is an Anthony Armelin tuber and the family sent me these tubers and it was one of my favorite dahlias. They produced so many tubers. I have an entire bag and I think she only sent me three. She sent me three tubers and I'll go get the bag and show you what I have from them. Okay, so this is the bag of Anthony Armelin tubers and I don't I have at least 15 in here they just did so well <sighs> look at those and these little rat tails you can just cut these off it's not gonna they don't do anything so I have a whole entire baggie I'm gonna be able to do a whole row of Anthony Armelin tubers and I just have to divide this up yeah those pine shavings off it's honestly it's so daunting the first couple times that you do it because you're like where do I cut where do I cut but really just find a spot in the middle and just squeeze okay so crack it in half oh wow that one looks great it's got an eye right there oh my gosh this crown is so massive Now you might be wondering, do I even have to divide my tubers? No, you don't have to divide your tubers. You don't have to divide them if you don't want to. In fact, uh, you can plant entire clumps if you want to. I want more plants, so I'm separating. Ugh, okay, so I'm probably gonna leave them in small clumps like this. Like these are little, <laughs> a little clump of a few. I could divide these even more if I so chose to. In fact, I think I am gonna divide this. Okay, so I divided that in half yet again. Let's put these babies in here. This one I probably should do again as well. They each have a part of the crown with eyes. Okay. Oh my gosh, this one's daunting. It's really hard when they're kind of all clumped together like this. Ooh, that's a really, see that has a broken neck. It's not broken yet, all right? It's not broken yet. It's just bent. Isn't there a song about that? And I just take this clump, cut it in half. gonna cut these little baby tubers off the side. Air garbage. Oh beautiful. Beautiful. Garbage. You might work. Okay, so those 
are the Anthony's and I've got at least 20 of them in here. I'm gonna continue dividing my tubers. Everything's looking good so far. Um, I have some bad news. Of all the tubers to not make it, the one that I grew from seed, uh, the one that I really liked, <laughs> that we were having fun coming up with a name for, that one did not make it. It didn't make it into storage properly. I left it outside and it froze and it got mushy. So it didn't make it. I left it outside accidentally. And uh, so that one's not making an appearance this year, but let's do another row from seed and see if we come up with anything good again this year. So I did save the Jessica Dahlias. They are coming back. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update on the division of my dahlias and how they stored. I am uh, so excited to see how many that I actually end up with. So far, it's looking pretty good. Anyway, thanks for sticking around guys. We'll see you soon. Let's divide some dahlias. Hi, flower friends. It's my voice cracked. Hey, it's Brad. You're in the background. <laughs> Let's divide some dahlias. Time to divide the dahlias. That's it, that's the winner right there.